Alright, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get smooth and crisp render settings like the ones on screen right now. These are probably the best recording and rendering settings for Minecraft, and today I'm going to release them. Uh, without much more talk, let's just get right into it. Alright, before I begin the video, I just want to say I'm so sorry for the lack of uploads. I am coming back to YouTube now. And, uh, yeah, this should be pretty sick. Um, but firstly, what you need to do is you want to get OBS Studio and you want to get the latest version. So all you want to do is go to obsproject.com, I believe. Like here. Go download. Uh, download whichever one you need. And that actually should be it. So if you're Mac or Linux, just click one of these and then click download installer and install it. Okay, so once you have gotten OBS, what you want to do is go into your taskbar, search up OBS, and make sure you run as administrator or else you'll have some recording problems. And yeah, just always run it as administrator because first when you get OBS, it works fine, but soon you'll have some problems. I don't know why this happens. There's no reason for it, but yeah, just always run it as administrator. So once you have it open, uh, let me show you my settings. Actually, first what you want to do is go view docs and enable stats. This shows the skip frames and stuff. And if that's like red, then your recording is probably going to be really laggy. But yeah, onto the settings. Um, I'll showcase my streaming settings later on in another video if you guys want. But currently we're doing recordings, so just copy these down. Nvidia NVENC, if you don't have this, use whichever one's best for you, I believe. There's like an AMD one if you have that, but yeah, I'm not too familiar with that. 1920 by 1080 or whatever your monitor size is. Rate control CQP. Alright, so the CQ level is pretty much the amount of quality you want, the amount of crispness it is. 30 is quite blurry and 1 is literally like, like, what? You won't need to go to your 1. Around 15 is good for most people. I use 12 because why not? But yeah, keyframe interval zero, max performance high. Turn these both off, GPU zero and max B frame zero. Now you wanna go to video. Uh, make your base canvas resolution, whatever your monitor size is. Mine's 1920 by 1080. And also don't scale it down. Just keep it at 1920 by 1080. Downscale filter, bilinear, fastest but blurry if scaling. Fractional FPS value. Now this is the amount of FPS you want to record at. Pretty much the higher the FPS is, the more motion blur it creates because it blends the amount of frames together into 60 FPS. I usually use 420, 480 or 540, but you can use like 240, you can use 1000. Yeah. <laughs> Just make sure your denominator is one. Now hit apply. Okay, now on the advanced tab, you want to go set this to below normal. Direct 3D 11, NV 12, 709, and partial. And that's pretty much it for OBS. Just click apply and hit OK. All right, so next, uh, you can use your editor of any choice, but preferably I use Vegas Pro. I believe it's 15, but you can also use Premiere if you want like motion blur. I'm pretty sure there's a feature for that too, but I'm not sure how that works. So you can probably find another tutorial. Okay, so what you want to do is just drag in any clip. I guess I'll just put this random clip in. I don't know what that is, but yep. When you add in a clip, it usually says match project video settings. You want to click yes, but if it doesn't come up, I'll show you how to do it later. Pretty much all you want to do is click this, which is the project settings. And then all you want to do is just copy all of these settings. 1920 by 1080 frame rate. Uh, you can change that later. 8-bit best Gaussian blend field smart resample and start all new all new projects with these settings apply and okay so now that you've done that you can see that it automatically changes to 120 fps so you do not want that what you want to do is go to your clip and project media right click and match project video settings then it should say 480p which is 40 fps in vegas and yeah pretty much after you've finished editing whatever you want to edit just select the amount of footage you want to render. <laughs> File, render as, and then you want to go to Magic's AVC slash AAC MP4. Now just click any one that comes up here and then go click customize template. Okay, so now when you render to YouTube, you always want to have 2K or higher. 
So there are multiple ways of doing this. Uh, I used to render it in 2K in Vegas, which is 2560 by 1440. High 59 or 60, but that's what it says in Vegas for some reason. And then just copy all these settings. If you want to upscale with better quality, then I'm going to show you how to do that soon. So if you want to render with FFmpeg, which is what I'm going to show you, then you just want to keep th this at the same quality that it was of the recording. So 1920 by 1080. But if not, 4560 by 1440 or higher, like 3K, I meant 4K or something. And then when you've done that, just change this to whatever you want, like that. Click save template and it should pop up here so you can just always use that. So when you've done that, just click browse and change it to wherever you want and then click render. Perfect. It should start rendering. But pretty much upscaling with FFmpeg only works on the video graphics cards. So if you have like AMD or something, then I'd suggest just rendering it in 2K or 4K in Vegas rather than with FFmpeg. But yeah, I'll leave a description in the I'll leave a tutorial in the description on how to do this, uh, how to install it, how to get it to work, and yeah, pretty much it for me.